Hello and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. The violence continues in Iraq. A suicide bomber rammed a vehicle packed with explosives into a checkpoint in a Baghdad Shia neighborhood. The blast killed five policemen and three civilians. A police officer said that 16 people were also wounded in the blast. It came a few hours after Iraq's deadlocked parliament announced it had postponed its next session until mid-August. The parliament's action means there won't be any progress in forming a new government that can confront the Sunni extremists and their prime minister there, Nouri Al-Mahdi, continuing to refuse to step down amid pressure. Now in Boston, a friend of the alleged accomplice in the marathon bombing will appear in a Boston courtroom later today. Jokar Sarnaya's friend is accused of taking evidence, including a backpack full of fireworks. From Prosecutors say Sarnaya's college friend obstructed justice and hindered a federal investigation if convicted. The tw investigation if convicted. The 20 year old could face up to 25 years in prison. He has pleaded not guilty to those obstruction and conspiracy charges. Zarnay, the main suspect accused of carrying out the bombing, is expected to go to trial later this year in November. I'm John Bachman. We're back with more news at the top of the hour.